Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to share a very popular and easy way of detecting human faces by using OpenCV in Python programming language. So, to learn more about it, make sure that you watch the complete video and subscribe the channel. You can also take a look at the membership and support the channel. So, without any further delay, let's start the code. To detect human faces from these images, we are going to use a technique called Har Cascade. So Har Cascade is basically a machine learning approach where a cascade function is trained with a set of input data. OpenCV already contains many pre-trained classifiers for faces, eyes, smile, etc. Today in this video, we are going to be use the face classifier cascade file. So now let's take a look at the multiple uh, Har Cascade files. So you can see. These are the various pre-trained Har Cascade classifier and we need to uh, use this frontal face default XML file. Okay. We are going to use these and the open CV and we are going to detect faces from these images. These three images basically we are going to use. Okay. So uh, let's move to the code part now. I have already downloaded uh, this Har Cascade file. Okay, so you just simply need to download it and then we will load it using the OpenCV. So first of all, we need to import the OpenCV. Okay. Now, let's import one more library called Globe. Okay, it should be from Globe, import Globe. As we have multiple images, so we are going to use the globe function to load the path for all these images okay let's go in our main function first of all we will load the images so we can say data is equals to globe and we need to provide path inside it you can say let's say os dot path dot join then we have faces folder and inside faces we have three images with the extension as jpg so we're going to say star dot jpg so this will load all the files let's just print the data detect okay so os is not defined let's import the os and this would work now okay so you can see three images path faces then image one then image two then image three okay so we have successfully loaded the data set now we're going to load the cascade so we're going to say face cascade c a d e face cascade is equals to cv2 dot and there's a function called cascade classifier okay this function I need to and we need to provide the path for this file this xml file okay. so we have successfully loaded the cascade okay now we can loop over that data and we're going to say for path in data now we're going to read this image okay we're going to say image equals to cv2 dot i am read path and we will read it as a rgb image Next, we need to convert this RGB image into grayscale because this face card cascade basically take the input image in the form of a grayscale, not in RGB format. So that's why we are converting this RGB image into grayscale. So we're going to say image and then cv2 dot color, then RGB to gray. Okay, so now we have our image converted into grayscale. Now we need to detect faces. We're going to say faces equals to face cascade. Then we have another function called detect multi scale. Okay, and we will use this function to detect multiple faces or single faces within an image, which is in the grayscale format. Okay, then we have two variables. First is the scale. Okay. And the next is basically 
what do we call the minimum neighbors okay these are the two well a va a variable which you need to like check and adjust to detect faces because this is not deep learning this is traditional machine learning and here you can you where you do not have like accurate uh, like results so in this we can also see like uh, it regions where faces is not there but still detecting it so you need to tune and change this value and then check it again and again which value suits for you okay so now we have faces in this we have coordinates basically in this faces list so we can say for x y w and h in faces okay now we're gonna mark uh, create a bounding box over the faces on this rgb image and we're gonna display it tv2 dot rectangle then we're gonna provide the rgb image then we will say x comma y first coordinate point then we're gonna say x plus width and y plus height so x y is the origin point and we add the width and height in that to form the second coordinate point next we need to give the color for the bounding box so let's say we give a red color okay and a width of two okay now we can display these also let's display these first i'm sure you can see image then image okay then we're gonna write cb2 dot weight key okay so let's run this program okay so you can see we have three human faces and with bounding box uh, around their faces and the bounding box is of red color you can even change the color it's not an issue you can see another three faces and in the next we have these four faces easily detected so we can see there's not an issue or error here but like the length and like the size of the bounding box varies then so in some cases it's like okay in some cases it's little inward and little outward so this is basically simply how you de detect faces from these human images like you can add more images and detect more faces okay now let's do one thing let's save these images in this results folder so first of all let's extract the name from this path variable so if you remember how the path look the path is look like this okay so we have to extract this name just so we're going to say path dot split and we're going to split on the basis of the slash okay so it will create a list which contain first faces and then image underscore one dot jpg so we're going to say minus one so we have the name now then we're going to say cb2 dot i am right first we need to have the path so we're going to say results then name okay then we'll say image which have the bounding boxes around it and we're going to save this program save this image is not the program now let's go inside the results folder so you can see we have these images saved with bounding box uh, 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 around the human faces so you can see the third the the not the third image the second image is, is not detected correctly like the head is left or you can say it's okay so that's basically the disadvantage come here because it's traditional machine learning it would not be good on every image but this uh, if you remember this is for frontal faces like right? actually this face is not correctly frontal it's little sideways but you can see these the first and the last image the third image are frontal face so it did detect them correctly and here all the faces are frontal face so these are also detected correctly and same case with the first image so that's how you detect these human faces from these images okay so just you need to select the appropriate our cascade function okay this xml file and simply run that program again and adjust these two parameter okay and then if you have any issue error just just try to tune these correctly according to you according the images okay it would work so that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed it and get some useful information from it so make sure that you subscribe the channel like the video you can also join the membership to support the channel and all 
and also it will help me to continue my re research in the field of machine learning deep learning okay thank you have a nice day